end uh, primary model portfolio manager here at, at TGO. And uh, the stock market's wallowing around, folks. It's been wallowing around for the past couple of days as uh, fears from China reverberate across the Pacific. We go down a little bit, and as we close, Asia opens, and they go down a little bit. So we're, we're kind of in this uh, circular firing squad. Uh, you know, the uh, it, Shanghai pulled back on some um, refiners, uh, dragged them down, but really... Uh, Recently, there's been some uh, default concerns uh, on uh, some of the uh, uh, in their bond market and some uh, large companies uh, over there. Um, so I, I don't think that's going to happen. We talked a couple months ago about uh, a, uh, a potential default in a, a sovereign wealth product over in China. Uh, and we saw that as maybe a test of Beijing essentially saying, you know what, we're, we're going to, unlike the United States, we're going to prove that capitalism uh, exists at least here, and we're going to let some things fail. Well, when the world really freaked out, uh, they didn't let that happen. So it really is incredible to me that central banks and governments from around the world are really embracing this soccer on a Saturday approach of everybody uh, gets a trophy, okay? Also, copper had a huge uh, implosion. If, if you don't care about that, well, th then you don't know that Wall Streetism about, uh, you know, the, the market is covered by a copper uh, roof. So seeing that, you know, uh, the metal copper starting to roll over is another one of the canaries uh, in the coal mine. Um, on the political front, obviously, uh, the president meeting with U Ukraine's new leader is a direct poke to Vladimir Putin. Um, Ukraine has also said that they're they're and they've also engaged in some live fire exercises and, and they're actually gearing up their military as well. So uh, things can go bump in the night, folks. There's going to be a vote in Crimea here. They're obviously going to vote to join Russia, even if they don't vote that. That's what the vote is going to be, as you guys know. Uh, and Ukraine is more focused on losing the eastern part of their country uh, than Crimea. So this is uh, this is getting a little uh, uglier as well. So. That's why you see the stock market uh, kind of wallowing uh, around today. Not uh, too much on the economic front, at least here uh, in the United States, but we will get some uh, production numbers out of China uh, later tonight, early, obviously, tomorrow morning. Uh, industrial production numbers will definitely impact our market. So when you wake up tomorrow morning uh, and you see the futures doing whatever they're doing, it's going to be based on China's industrial production, I guarantee uh, to you, and also their, their retail sales numbers. We'll get retail sales numbers tomorrow as well, and whenever you see the word core, it means X or excluding, uh, so these numbers are excluding autos. And then we'll wrap up uh, the week with some inflation numbers and some uh, University of Michigan consumer sentiment numbers. I'm going to be doing a uh, live trading session uh, tomorrow, Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you sign up for it. We're going to show you how you can get access to all of our live trading services here. The 2i Manage, weekly options, and you're looking at that portfolio right now. And... Uh, primary live trade brief, which I also manage, but also our intermediate slash advanced live trade brief managed by our volatility arbitrage trader, uh, Doug Robertson. And as you can see in just, what, two and a half days, uh, my weekly options model portfolio is up in the green here. About 500 bucks. We're up over $26,000 in two months. Uh, and month to date, we're looking pretty good in uh, this portfolio as well. What's that, a week and a half? Uh, about seven and a half trading days. We're up $16,000 in seven and a half uh, trading days. Uh, that, that's, that's pretty cool. What's that, about two grand, averaging two grand a day? My mission objective is uh, to gain $1,000 a month in this portfolio. And we've been absolutely crushing it. So stop by. Make sure you click on the link to register for tomorrow's live trading webinar where we're going to show you how you can get access into all three of our live trading services here at uh, Top Gun Options to show you a very, very diversified portfolio from weekly options, which are afterburner trades, to primary that I manage, which are longer term trades, uh, but also hedging the front month with the VIX or other uh, front month hedges such as SH or SDS, and also Doug Robertson's intermediate and advanced portfolio when he trades where he trades a lot of volatility and volatility arbitrage trades, especially around earnings. So if you want access into all of our live trading services here at Top Gun Options, even if you have a job, it doesn't matter. 
everything's recorded and we email and text alert out every trade in the middle of our live trade briefs uh, just so for those who uh, can't attend because about 80% of our traders here at Top Gun Options work and have a job and can't attend the live trading sessions. doesn't matter. You still get the trades uh, emailed and SMSed out to you. And in the time it took me to record this, this uh, portfolio went up about 500 bucks. Uh, and that's what happens here with weekly options. So we're up about a grand in two and a half days. So we could close all these trades out right now and hit my mission objective for the week. But we're not going to do that because two, four, six, seven, because we have about $7,000 in profit that we could potentially collect in one week alone on limited risk in these three trades. Okay, so stop by tomorrow. I'll see you at 1 p.m. Eastern. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. We'll see you.